Time now for a look at your health, and you will want to pay attention to this one. Have you heard of the low fructose diet? Well, essentially, it requires you to limit how much fruit you eat, among other things. Now, Dr. Mitchell Goldman is here from UCSD to try and sort this out for us because I thought every night when I go home after the late news, I eat a bowl of the cuties, and I'm thinking, oh, I'm eating fruit. I'm such a good person. <laughs> and, cuties, and, and here it is. It could be turning just into fat. Well, cuties are delicious, and they, they do have fructose, but they don't have a high amount of fructose. It's the juice that's really bad. So let's pretend if we want to drink a glass of apple juice, that actually has a lot of fructose in it. Now, what's the difference? Yeah, because well, high fructose corn syrup, we all know, has right. become kind of this evil ingredient we should look for on the label. But fructose is natural sugar found in fruit, right? Yes. And you'd think that's good. Good and bad. And here's, here's <laughs> the thing. Glucose is good. Glucose goes into your system, goes to your brain. You can use it as a carbohydrate. Fructose is not absorbed, so it goes straight to your liver and becomes fat. So it's a different kind of sugar. What made this really bad is the high fructose corn syrup, because when that was introduced in the 60s and 70s, that's when we saw this epidemic of obesity in the country. So it all ties into the introduction of high fructose corn syrup. Very interesting. And you actually brought along with you a graph that's very easy to follow that really spells out. And this is surprising to me. Some of the worst offenders when it comes to high fructose. It is. So things like pomegranate, mango, grapes, and pear are, are the worst, and, and even raisins. But they just have the highest amount of fructose in them. We know that pomegranate also has lots of antioxidants. So again, like we say every week, everything in moderation. But the things that you should eat are like apricots are pretty low, passion fruit, plums. Those are low in fructose. Still, they give you a lot of fiber and a lot of vitamins as well. All right, so this is kind of confusing, but let's talk about, <laughs> well, no, it really is because, you know, we've been kind of trained to think that anything natural, it, no matter what well, uh, the poison, quantity, yeah, that but, it's okay. But look, poison oak is natural, and, <laughs> okay. and that's not a great thing, Point too. Point taken. Okay, so low fructose diet, what are the ingredients to avoid within this diet? Well, the ingredients are high fructose corn syrup things that are processed foods, because processed foods, especially sodas, like Coke and Pepsi, have a lot of high fructose corn syrup in okay. it. So we want to avoid that and do something a little bit less. And then what we should be eating are the meats and vegetables and grains, and those are going to be a little bit better for us. You know, part of the, why this happened is there were two studies that were formed that, that, that were just came out, and what the study showed is that you had this increase in obesity right. when all of a sudden Americans started eating more fructose. It's coincidental with the FDA telling us that we should be eating low-fat diets. And so we were starting to do low-fat diets. We then started to, to use, or the company started to put in high carbohydrate, and they used fructose, high, high fructose corn syrup, to basically make things low fat. And that's part of the epidemic that we're having. And it really is something you should probably read up on, because as I, I'm, I'm reading all these different things, this information you've given us, I see meat as part of this, uh, what to eat, and dairy, and things that typically when we think of diet, we think that all of the you know pediatricians and doctors out there are steering us away from those things. Well, it is very complex. Probably the best thing, Kathleen, is everything in moderation. Don't go overboard. Don't, for instance, go on a pomegranate only diet or something of this sort. We want to be reasonable, but I wanted to bring this to everyone's attention, mostly because of the high fructose corn syrup. We want to stay away from that in processed foods and especially in sodas. Because what happens with fructose, you don't get satiated, you don't feel full, and you keep eating. And all you have to do is eat another few hundred calories a day, and that translates into pounds over the years. This is great advice and certainly something to look into. And I I hope you all had your DVR on so you can go back over all those. Of course, you can go to fox5sandiego.com and also look at all the information. Because, Walter, it is surprising when you think of fruit that some of them actually could be unhealthy for you and thickening your waistline. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to have to get rid of those mangoes in my refrigerator. <laughs> well, yeah, just a few. <laughs> all right, thanks, guys.